Welcome, this is a short video to show you how to use essential oils with coconut oil for oil pulling. So if this is a new practice to you, it's something that you can introduce very simply into your routine. And you want to do this first thing in the morning, as soon as you wake up, as soon as you kind of get up and out of bed, and actually if pref preferably you want to do it before you've even had a drink of water. And the reason being is that as we sleep overnight, as we go to sleep, the bacteria builds up um, in our gums and just around our teeth. And this bacteria is kind of, you know, a little bit kind of harmful and we don't want to take a drink of water because if we take a drink of water, we'll just be kind of swishing it all the way back down and into our bodies. So we use the oil in our mouth to kind of pull that bacteria out. And then when we add in the essential oil into the coconut oil, we're also supporting nourishing the gums and around the, the teeth beds. So um, we can then use that to keep everything kind of fresh and clean in our mouths. So the benefits of oil pulling are it wipe, helps to whiten teeth, kills the bacteria that cause bad breath, reduces inflammation and any kind of bleeding gums that you may have, can help to reduce tooth sensitivity and helps with the detoxification process. So a reminder again, you're doing it first thing in the morning before you have even had like a drink of water if you can. And I do it with just the hard coconut oil, but you can use um, the fractionated coconut oil if you want. Some people use MCT oil as well. And uh, I just take a spoonful of the coconut oil like a hard spoon full of it, like a teaspoon. I don't need very much, probably not even a full teaspoon. And then I take my essential oil, just taking the lid off with one hand, and I just put one drop of oil into the teaspoon, and another one drops in, that's okay. And then I put that in my mouth and I, and I swish it around in my mouth and I let the warmth of my mouth kind of melt the, the oil, the hard oil. And I swish that around for about five to 10 minutes. And I'll usually do it while I'm doing another activity. So I'll do it while I'm making the bed, while I'm maybe setting up a place for me to meditate. Um, maybe I'll do it while I'm getting changed even. So it's not that it's eating into another bit of my day, because um, five to 10 minutes of just kind of standing and swishing your oil around your mouth, you know. Um, first thing in the morning that might not be something that you have time to do but if you if you um if you attach it onto another habit that you're already doing another practice that you're already doing of getting dressed or making your bed then um, it makes it much easier to do um, so then I swish it around my mouth I've done that for five to ten minutes and then you want to spit it out into um, down the toilet or really down into a, into the bin don't spit it into your sink because obviously it'll start to clog up the plugs in your sink because it'll harden again um, and then I use a tongue scraper. Now you can use the back of a spoon or you can get yourself a tongue scraper. And I simply just scrape kind of any excess um, off of my tongue and then spit that away. Finally, then what you can do is rinse either with water or you could rinse with good salt water and just kind of really kind of keep everything really kind of um, clean and fresh in there. It's a really helpful practice to do, very easy to do every morning. And the way that I really make sure that it's successful, because I went, when I first started doing this, I was like, oh, I'm kind of walking down to the kitchen to get my coconut oil. So I just bought myself an extra. Sounds simple, but it's just about setting yourself up for, for you know, for these things to be successful. So I just bought myself an extra coconut oil and that just lives in the bathroom. And then um, I'm making it easy for myself to, to do the habits that I know are gonna help keep me, um, to help keep me healthy. Okay, much love.